All right, guys. So it looks like this deal with uh, Anthony Joshua versus Andy Ruiz is really basically just about finalized. I mean, I'm, all these sources that I'm seeing online are basically saying that it's going to be announced pretty much tomorrow. <laughs> it's going to be announced tomorrow. So expect uh, many boxing channels to be making, you know, breaking news. Uh, Andy Ruiz versus uh, Anthony Joshua June 1st. Confirmed. Official. Uh, expect many boxing channels to be doing that tomorrow. Including myself, huh? obviously, because I'm a boxing channel. But Because, like I said, it it seems that all these uh, these outlets are saying that this fight is basically pretty much confirmed. I mean, they're saying there's still a few minor details that need to be worked out. But normally, when you see reports like this, 99.9% .9 of the time means it's 100% accurate. And that it ends up going through. So, it looks like... We're going to be having Andy Ruiz fight Anthony Joshua. What do you guys think of this fight? I already told you guys my opinion. I feel that this is a decent fight. Um, first of all, this this fight, Andy Ruiz is, is much more credible than both Manuel Char and Michael Hunter. Let's be honest with ourselves. If you heard tomorrow that a Anthony Joshua was facing Michael Hunter or Manuel Char, let's be honest with ourselves. You guys would not be too thrilled about that. Let's be real. I'm not saying all of you guys, but a lot of you guys will probably be leaving me comments being like, okay, mm, not too fond of that fight. Because, you know, I remember when, when AJ was announced to fight uh, Jerome Big Baby Miller, um, a lot of people didn't like that fight. They just felt that Jerome Miller didn't earn it, didn't earn, you know, and, and he hadn't fought anyone. That was like the biggest thing that I kept receiving in the comment section of my videos. Well, I feel that Jerome Miller just ha has not fought anyone to deserve this fight. I, you can't really say the same thing about Andy Ruiz. I mean, at least Andy Ruiz fought a former champion in uh, Joseph Parker. And a lot of people felt that Joseph Parker actually lost against him. And they felt it was the hometown cooking. So we can't really sit here and say that Andy Ruiz has never fought anyone. Cause I, so I, don't really, I really don't want to hear that. All right, I'm just being real with you guys. Like, I don't want to hear anyone telling me, oh, well, Andy Ruiz hasn't fought anyone. He fought Joseph Parker, who's better than anyone that Jarrell Big Baby Miller fought. These are facts, 100% facts. We know what level, because that was the question, that was the big thing with Jarrell Miller is, I kept saying, like, uh, the only thing that excites me about the Jarrell Miller fight is the fact that not only, obviously, I was rooting for him because I'm from Brooklyn as well, but because of the fact that this was going to show me, uh, what level Jerome Miller is? Because because he had never fought anyone in the quality. He had, he had, he had, of, of Joshua. He had never even fought a champion or or top ten heavyweight. So that's why I was so intrigued of that fight. But obviously we end up finding that we end up finding out that he was a drug cheat with Andy Ruiz. I know he's a top ten heavyweight because I saw him compete against a top ten heavyweight in Joseph Parker. So we don't have to think to ourselves, oh, what level is Andy Ruiz? What level is he? We know what level he is. So I think he's a quality of fighter. And I tell you guys, you know, appearances, I know he's physic you know, physically, he looks like a, a fat guy, you know. He's fat. That's just the way his body is. Maybe he likes being fat. Somebody left me a comment saying that Joe, Joe uh, no, excuse me, that Andy Ruiz likes being out of shape or, he, you know, <laughs> something something like that, something to that, to that extent, like he likes being fat like that. But listen, at the end of the day, he could fight. That's all that matters. You know, it's not like he's fat. But then he can't fight and he sucks. And you're like, oh, fuck it. This is going to, you know, because then the fight will be trash. But he's fat, but he could fight. What do you guys think of this fight? Again, what other options did Anthony Joshua had? He had no other options. Kurat Pulev was suspended because he kissed the reporter. So let's not bring him up. Adam Kornacki rejected the fight. They they came to him, but he said, no, I'm not going to take did he, did he even had an interview where he said, I'm not a prostitute. I'm not going to, you know, just take this fight. So you you can't say Joshua ducked Karet Pulev or Anna Kornacki. You can't say that. Joe Miller's out the, the, the picture because the, out the loop because obviously he got tested with, with drugs. Uh, obviously, Deontay Wilder has a fight already scheduled with Dominic Brazil. So you can't say he he ducked Deontay Wilder, these Wilder tards. Uh, Tyson Fury has a fight scheduled with Tom Short, so you can't say he ducked Tyson Fury, right? Um, Dillian White has had a fight scheduled with uh, Oscar Reyes, so you can't say he ducked Dillian White. And Dillian White already ducked Anthony Joshua earlier on this year because he rejected the $4 million or $5 whatever Ed Hare was offering him. Um, Luis Ortiz, he was offered 5 to $6 million, and his manager, they rejected that fight. So you can't say it was Eddie Hearn. That was the fight Eddie Hearn really wanted, so you can't say that. So what other options were there? 
Michael Hunter, Manuel Char, maybe Joseph Parker, uh, Andy Ruiz. And you know what? Andy Ruiz is a good uh, alternative fight. Again, he just fought. He just fought uh, Alexander Dimitrenko. So it's not like he's been coming off a five-year layoff, you know. I like the fact that he just fought Alexander Dimitrenko. So that means he's still in, he, he's in training. Like, he just got off of training literally a week and a half ago. Didn't he? Didn't he just fight uh, Dimitrenko like two weeks ago? That means he's fresh out of training camp. So it's not like you can't say, oh, well, Andy Ruiz has not fought in like seven months. So the fact that he only has six, uh, you know, five weeks to get ready for Joshua is very disadvantaged. Again, he's been in training. He just finished training camp and he just finished fighting Alexander Dimitrenko. So he is, uh, so he's been active. He's, you know, he's been keeping his body, you know, or, you know, he's been keeping himself, you know, basically sharp in training camp. So. I don't want to hear that. Again, both Andy Ruiz and uh, Anthony Joshua are going into this fight with a disadvantage because they weren't training for them for for their styles. Andy Ruiz was not training for Anthony Joshua, and Anthony Joshua was not training for someone like Andy Ruiz. So they're both going into this fight basically uh, with disadvantages, with that as a disadvantage. They're both going in. So I don't want to hear, you know, oh, of course, this is going to be an easy fight for Anthony Joshua because Andy Ruiz hasn't has had only a five-week training camp you can't say that it's the same thing for Anthony Joshua and don't tell me well Anthony Joshua was already in training yeah he was but guess what Andy Ruiz just had a fight he just finished a training camp so you can't really use that excuse can you so again this is a fight where is it, they're basically going in here with like a uh basically like blinded because they they have not really had enough time to study their opponent so maybe this might turn out to be an exciting fight. All I know is this. Andy Ruiz always comes to fight. I have a feeling this fight might be more exciting than people think. And I just think that when it comes to quality, I would rather see this than if Anthony Joshua or Eddie Hearn, you know, or, or if, you know, some bum. Imagine we would have heard Anthony Joshua just fight some absolute guy that you never heard of. That would We would have been destroyed. That would have destroyed it. We all would have been pissed off about that. At least we know who Andy Ruiz is. Okay, so... Like I said, what do you guys think of this fight? It looks like it's going to be confirmed tomorrow, 100%. Anyway, guys, that's all I have to say. Thanks for watching. I'm out.